High School Yellow Jackets versus your Page High School Patriots. Um, coming into tonight's contest, Page brings in a record of 21 and one overall, seven and zero in district play. Uh, while the Fairview Lady Jackets will be coming in with a record of four and 17 and one and six in district play, but all those records kind of go out the window when it's uh, the Battle of 840 here tonight. So. Uh, my name is Justin Ventland. I'll be your announcer for tonight. And we start off quick with number five, Abigail Ward with the bucket to start out 2 nothing for the Patriots. And that will be number five for Fairview, Summer Anderson. And a quick sub to get the senior out on a senior night. Nice gesture by both the teams there. Looks like both teams will be playing a 2-3 zone to start the game. Uh, rebound by number three. That's going to be Mackenzie Cochran. You're going to hear a lot from her tonight. as She is the uh, Miss Tennessee semifinalist for basketball. Fairview brings it in the front court here. Quick turnover will go back to Page. This will be the last game before tournament play starts uh, here next week. Everybody's favorite time of the year. We're going to start March Madness in February. Page working the top half of that 2 3 zone. Number two passes out to Mackenzie Cochran for three. Fairview with the rebound. Page extending that pressure all the way up to the half court. Making Fairview really work it around the perimeter. That's number 15, Mary Jane Kinton with the shot. Fouled her own shot, got the rebound. Page with the rebound there, bringing it up the court. And they'll pull it back out. Steal by number uh, 15, Meredith Warner for the Yellow Jackets. That defense uh, Page has set up is already wrecking havoc for the Yellow Jackets there, making it tough for them to really get it into the paint. Good ball movement here by the Page Patriots. Mackenzie Cochran drives the lane, shot, but no luck. Rebound by the Yellow Jackets. Once again, Fairview working around the top of that perimeter, but just really can't work it into the into the three-point area yet. So Paige will take possession once again. Fairview set up in a two-three zone here. Page really working it around the perimeter, trying to find the open open man. Head coach Ron Brock calls out a new play here, new set. Finds an open three in the corner, and that's going to be Mackenzie Cochran. Page is almost in a matchup zone. Fairview does a good job to get the ball down to the block, but no luck there. And we've got our first foul of the game. It's on Fairview number 30, Maddie Brewer. That's her 
That's going to be Maddie Brewer's first foul of the game. Once again, Paige working it around the perimeter here. It's usually the best strategy against a 2 3. Try to work around, move those defenders around, and find someone to get open on the block, but unfortunately throws the ball away. Turnover going back to the Yellow Jackets. Fairview bringing the ball up. Paige came out in a press that time. Rebound by number 32. It's going to be Anna Marie Brown. Unfortunately couldn't convert Paige with the transition. And they're content to pull it back out. Find an open three. Rebounded by number 30. Maddie Brewer. So about halfway through the first quarter here at Page High School, the score of eight to two. And number two for Page, Lily Wilkin, gets the rebound, takes it down the court herself, passes it off to Cochran with a shot, and then 24 cleans up the glass. For two, extends Page's lead to 10 to two here. Once again, Page extended the defense. And that'll be a foul on number 24, Jenny Gashwitz. Shooting foul, so that sends number 24 to the line for Fairview, or er, for uh, Fairview, yeah, that was correct. Number Riley two, Dillingham. Riley Converts on the first one. Second one is no good, and number two, Lily Wilkin with the rebound, passes it up to Cochran. Good drive by Wilkin there to get to the paint and get a convert on the two-pointer. Cochran with the steal, pushes it up. That was maybe not intended for Cochran, but works out regardless. So at that point, Head coach Wayne McGowan for Fairview needs to take a timeout, regroup the girls, and see if they can't work around this zone a little bit more that Paige has kind of set up. Like I said, it's more of a matchup zone, it looks like. Um, coming out in a man-to-man -man look, moving around a lot of their perimeter defenders, but um, just a, not a lot that Fairview can uh, handle with that right now. So uh, Fairview is pretty young, uh, as in the coaches show. Coach Wayne did say starting more and more sophomores and freshmen uh, with some injuries that they have occurred over the years. So um, good experience for these ladies heading into the tournament next week. And once again, Paige extends that defense to full court, uh, making Fairview a little uncomfortable there. A turnover, and the ball will go back to the Page Patriots. Number one checks in for Page. That will be Mary Elizabeth Fox. Yellow Jacket's still content to stay in that 2-3 zone, and a foul. That'll be number 55, Anastasia Beerley for the Yellow Jackets, sending double zero, double zero excuse me, uh, Braley Bushman to the line for two. Bailey misses the first of two. Braley Bushman is shooting the second of two for Bailey into the game. For 
Number 15 for Fairview checks in. That'll be Mary Jane Kenton. And Braley misses the back half of two shots there. So lucky break for Fairview on the shooting foul. Once again, Page defense extending all the way up to half court. Fairview seems to have a break here. An aggressive drive to the hole, and that will send number 15 for Fairview, Mary Jane Kitten, to the line. Foul on Jenna Gashwitz. That is her second of the game. Kitten misses the first of two. This is the second of second shot of the foul, but number 55 there for Fairview. That'll be Anastasia Beerley comes up with a rebound and gets an extra possession for the Yellow Jackets here. A scrum for the ball here. And Cochran comes out with it and settles down the troops, pushing it in transition. We've got a jump ball jump possession ball. aerial to the Yellow Jackets. Number 12 for Fairview checks in. That'll be Emma Sharp, a freshman, like we uh, touched on. A lot of freshmen and sophomores are going to be playing in this game for Fairview tonight. That's number double zero, Braley Bushman with the steal and the foul. So she'll go to the line shooting two. With about 30 seconds left in the first quarter, we've got a score of 15, Page, three, Fairview. Bushman converts on the first. And goes one of two, missing the second. Steal by Cochran. Takes it the length of the floor, aggressively to the hole, and gets fouled. So she'll go to the line shooting two. Foul on number 10, Gigi Harris. That'll be her first of the game. Fairview 14 foul. Cochran makes the first of two. and converts on the second as well. Good press breaker here by Fairview to get it back into the half court. Shot up and one. That was number 12, Emma Sharp. So she'll go and get the bonus free throw. Misses the free throw, but out on Fairview. So Paige will take possession with 8.6 seconds left here in the first quarter. Cochran brings it up. And at the end of one, we have the Page Patriots leading 18 over the Fairview Yellow Jackets by uh, five. So a 13 point lead here after the first quarter. Um, as expected, Page bringing the pressure to Fairview, making them uncomfortable uh, all the way through really a full court press that they brought on late in the first quarter. Um, my guess is that 
coach Wayne McGowan is going to have to kind of pick up the tempo here. They were sitting in that 2-3 zone for a little bit, first page, but uh, with a 13-point deficit, it's just not something that you, you want to really be sitting in too long. Uh, obviously, defending the paint is a priority, but um, need to push the uh, tempo a little bit uh, on Fairview side. Page's side, uh, everything has gone to plan so far, it seems. Uh, like I said, good tune-up game going into the tournament um, versus a high-caliber rivalry, uh, which is always a, a good game to have right before tournament time does start. So. As we start the second quarter, it'll be the Page Patriots ball. And just as predicted, Fairview comes out in more of a aggressive zone defense, looking to trap a little bit more around the perimeter. Page was able to get the ball into the paint, but missing a rebound by number 24 for the Yellow Dragons. That's Riley Dillingham. Cochran with the steal, takes it the length of the floor. I think it was an accidental drop off to number 20, Mary Claire Pike for the two. Page defense is just stifling around that perimeter, not letting Fairview do what they want and get to the post. Good move by number two for the Page Patriots, Lily Wilkin. Unable to convert there. Number 12 with the shot. That's me, number two with the rebound, Wilkin. Up to 20 to double zero. Braley Bushman for two. Fairview able to get in the lane there. But number two comes up with the rebound. Wilkin up to 20. Pike, and that is going to be good for two, extending the lead to 24 to five. Timeout, Fairview. It will be a full timeout. So head coach Wayne McGowan um, going to sit the ladies down, talk a little strategy, and see if they can't cut into this deficit a little bit. Uh, basketball is a game of run, so all you have to do is stack together a couple stops, get a couple buckets together, and you can be right back in this. Like we mentioned, uh, looking at Fairview's roster, there is a good amount of underclassmen on this team. So Fairview will be in a good position here in years come. It's just a, a little growing pains at the moment. Um, Coach McGowan also mentioned a lot of injuries with this team throughout the year. Um, so a lot of players getting a lot of experience, which is always good to build a, a program for years to come. On the flip side, the Page Patriots are led by a lot of their seniors. Uh, most recognizable of Mackenzie Cochran and Willie, Willie Wilkin, kind of the two leaders of this team. Unfortunately, Abigail Ward did go down with the injury. She was able to get that basket to start the game. Um, the coach, Ron Brock, did mention that her return for the tournament does look unlikely, unfortunately. Good out-of-bounds play by the Fairview Yellow Jacks. It's number 24 converts. That's Riley Dillingham. Number 23 for Page Patriots. 
That's Sadie Porter. It looks like the Patriots have pulled back their defense a little bit here, settling more into a uh, passive zone. And just as I say that, number double zero, Braley Bushman commits a foul at half court. That'll be her first foul, Paige's fourth team foul. Number 20, Pike with the steal to Bushman, but a travel before the field goal attempt, so Possession will go back to the Yellow Jackets with 4.50 to play here in the second quarter. Steal by number 20, Mary Claire Pike. Up to Cochran. Are they gonna... We're gonna get a shooting foul here. Mackenzie Cochran will go to the line to shoot two. On Mullins, that's team. Foul will be on number 22, Casey Mullins, for the Yellow Jackets. That'll be her second team fifth. Number 22 for Paige checks in, Avery Payne, a freshman. And for the Yellow Jackets, number 55, Anastasia Beerley will be checking in. Cochran cashes in on the second of the free throw. The uh, foul on the floor by number 22, Avery Payne. That'll be her first in the team fifth of the half. Good out of bounds play. Number 55 cashes in, Anastasia and Byerly. On the other end, commits a foul. So that'll send double zero Bushman to the line. Converts the first of two. Number 10, Gigi Harris checks back in for the Yellow Jackets. And Bushman hits both free throws. Extending the lead to 21. Ball out of bounds, last touch by Mackenzie Cochran. Stolen by number two, Lily Wilkin. Pushes the length of the floor and gets fouled. It will be on the floor. Regardless, that pushes Fairview into the bonus. Giving Wilkin the one-on-one -on -one opportunity at the line. Converts the first. And hits both free throws. Ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Willie Wilkin for the Patriots. 
The Yellow Jackets out of bounds plays have been pretty successful here, getting the ball into the middle. And once again, they do. But number 55, Beerley cannot convert. Turnover, Patriots. Ball goes back to the Yellow Jackets, bringing it up in the half court. Good take there by number 20 for the Yellow Jackets. That's me, Kaylee Mangrum. 22, excuse me, Casey Mullins. The foul will be on number 23, Sadie Porter. Mullins misses the first of two. Number 20 for the Page Patriots check in, checks in, Mary Claire Pike. And misses the second of two. Patriots push the ball up the court. Good pass there, Un or, unable to finish though, unfortunately. Jump ball, Jump possession ball. will go to the Yellow Jackets. Number five, Summer Anderson. And number 15, Mary Jane Kenton check in for the Yellow Jackets. And with about 3.15 left in the second quarter, our score is 32 Patriots, nine Yellow Jackets. Mackenzie Cochran with the steal, pushes it up. MC Pike for two. And Pike able to convert for two there. Yellow Jackets up for three. Mackenzie Cochran with the rebound. Good pass there, unable to convert though. Ball last touch by the Page Patriots, so possession will go to the Yellow Jackets here. Number 10, Gigi Harris to bring the ball up. Turnover, Cochran pushes it up. Couple extra passes and number 20, MC Pike converts for two. Number 24 for the Yellow Jackets. Riley Dillingham with a nice Euro step in the lane there to convert for two. Coach Ron Brock for the Patriots calling out a set. We got the ball to number 23, Sadie Porter, but unable to convert. Cochran jumps the pass. Then makes up for it there with the steal. Takes it the length of the floor and converts with the layup. Cochran now with 12 points for the night. And McKenzie just do it all player. Rebounding, stealing, passing. I guess that's why you would say she was probably a semifinalist for Miss Basketball of Tennessee this year. Ball goes out of bounds back to Fairview. With a minute left here in the first half. Fairview working it around the top of the perimeter, trying to find an opening in this zone. Page is playing. Gets it down to the block, but number two for the Patriots, Lily Wilkin with the block. Cochran will bring the ball up. Wilkin takes it to the hole, gets fouled. We'll go to the line, shooting two. Foul will be on number 24, Riley Dillingham. Her first foul of the night. Lily 
team eighth of the first half. And Wilkin hits the second of two. Fairview still looking for a crack in this page defense. Cochran with the steal will go the length of the floor and converts. So at halftime, the home team Page Patriots lead 42 over the Fairview Yellow Jackets 11. We'll be right back after halftime. And welcome back to the WCTV Game of the Week here in pa at, at Page High School uh, between the Page Patriots and the Fairview Yellow Jackets. Coming out of halftime, uh, the Page pa Patriots do lead by a score of 42 to 11 over the Yellow Jackets. And Page will take the first possession coming out of the half here. First half, we saw a lot of the Patriots stifling defense, not really letting the Yellow Jackets get comfortable in their half court set. Fairview coming out in a man to man here. Steal by number 15. Mary Jane Kitten takes it the length of the floor for Mackenzie Cochran takes it away. And ball goes out of bounds. We'll go back to the Yellow Jackets. Fairview able to get the ball down on the block to number 55, Anastasia Byerly for two. And if Fairview kind of wants to cut into that lead, that's a great strategy. High percentage shots, get some stops here on the defensive end. Number 15 for the Yellow Jackets, Mary Jane Kitten hits the ball out of bounds, but it'll stay here with the Patriots. Kenzie Cochran pulling it back out, trying to get a offensive set set up here. And Fairview coming out in this second half in a man-to-man -man aggressive defense. Patriots might have not been expecting it. A little bit sloppy here to start the game, or start the second half, excuse me. We've got a travel. So turnover by the Patriots. Ball will go back to the Yellow Jackets here. Number 22, Casey Mullins brings the ball up for the Yellow Jackets. Fairview really trying to get the ball inside Anastasia Beerley. Does have some size advantage. Mackenzie Cochran with a cross up and a three. Braley Bushman with the rebound there, pushes it up to 20. Mackenzie Cochran once again with the three. Ball gets tipped out to Wilkin. She'll reset here. And a good pass, dropping it off to number 24, Jenna.
Fairview back in the half court set. Trying to really work this ball around the perimeter. Waiting for an open pass down into the paint. They've got opportunities in the pass. But this Page Patriots defense has been very, very aggressive all night. But number 24 for the Yellow Jackets, Riley Dillingham will get fouled on the shot and go to the line shooting two. Foul will be on Jenna uh, Gishwitz. It'll be her third. Number 10 for Fairview, Gigi Harris checks in. Willingham misses the second of two, but gets her own rebound. Not only gets the rebound, but gets two points for the Yellow Jackets. Double zero. That'll be Bushman on the three. Eight points for Braley so far tonight. Gigi Harris with the shot and a miss. Bushman with the rebound. Pushing it up to Cochran. With the layup and is good. And Paige will take a timeout. That last layup, that gets Cochran to 19 points so far for the night. And Coach Ron Brock will take a timeout. Potentially get some subs in here. So with about four minutes left in the third quarter, you're Page Patriots lead 52 to 16 over the Fairview Yellow Jackets. We saw it coming out of halftime to start the third quarter. Fairview really working the ball around, trying to get it down inside to Anastasia Beerley. It worked a couple times, but Page kind of caught on, said no more of that. Kept him more on the perimeter, and this time I might have helped Fairview trying to read game plan to cut into this deficit a little bit that Page has extended. Gigi Harris with the shot. That'll be last touch by the Yellow Jackets, and Patriots will take over. Kenzie Cochran brings the ball into the front court. Drives the lane, dishes it off to number 24, Jenna Gashwitz. Cashes in for two. Sis goes to Cochran. Ball last touch by Cochran. It'll stay down here for Fairview. And that's the tough thing as a defense for Fairview is Mackenzie Cochran, with the talent that she is, you have to put a lot of attention on her, but that opens up other players such as Bushman, Wilkin, Gashwitz. They've all cashed in with Cochran dishing off to them. Number 32 for the Yellow Jackets with the rebound. We're going to have a jump ball. That was Anna Maria Brown, a sophomore. Possession will stay down here for the Yellow Jackets. Cochran with the steal, pushes it up to number one, Mary Elizabeth Fox with her first bucket of the night. And 
A steal there by Gashwitz. Pushes it up the floor. Cochran will take the three. And good. Very selfless team the Patriots are. Constantly looking for the open lady for the shot. And right back at the other end, that's number five, Summer Anderson responds with the three of her own. That's gonna be Bushman to Gashwitz. Right on cue with the unselfish play. Cochran with the steal. Pushes it up to Bushman, back to Cochran for the layup. And we're gonna get uh, some subs here. Looks like three new ladies will be coming on for the Patriots, two more for the Yellow Jackets. 55, Anastasia Beerley checks back in for the Yellow Jackets. Byerly. It's like Paige has settled back into more of a 2-3 zone. Still a lot of pressure up here on the perimeter. Pass taken away by the Patriots. In transition. Kick out to Cochran for three. No good, but number 20. Mary Claire Pike with the rebound. We get a reset for Cochran once again. Three is, is good. Bushman will sub back into the game here for Mackenzie Cochran. Cochran exits the game with a total of 25 points so far. Number 15, the long three, rebounded by 20 for the Patriots, Mary Claire Pike. Page working the ball around, looking for a potential last shot of the third quarter. And at the end of three, the Page Patriots lead 66-19 over the visiting Fairview Yellow Jackets. So as we take the quarter break here, uh, like we mentioned, Battle of 840. Quick drive down the interstate to both schools. It's always fun to see these two schools compete in whatever sport it may be. Football was quite the contest this year. Both teams being uh, contenders in the respective division. I have a feeling Coach Ron Brock has ideas of making a deep run in the state playoffs this year. Uh, last year had a exit in the quarterfinals to Maryville. Uh, I'm sure they are looking to get back to at least there or potentially further. Finish some unfinished business for this senior class, including Mackenzie Cochran. So the Page Patriots take possession to start the fourth quarter. And a travel. Is the call. So turnover of possessions will go back to the Yellow Jackets here. Hey, 
Gigi Harris for the Yellow Jackets brings the ball up, dishes back off to number 12. Harris takes possession of the ball once again. Even with this second group in here with the Page Patriots, defense is definitely an emphasis that you know, Coach Brock is teaching in this program. Very aggressive on that perimeter, which will be very useful in that tournament. Number 20, the shot for the Patriots. Number 30 comes up with the rebound, Matty Brewer. Brewer with the shot. The Patriots take the rebound down the other end. Therefore, cleaning up the glass is number 42, Brooklyn Burrow for two. Her, her first bucket of the game. Fairview is still working it around here, trying to find an open shot. Gigi Harris takes control, settles down the troops, takes it herself. And number 20, MC Pike with the rebound. The Patriots will take back over here on offense. Number 42, that was Brooklyn Burrow with the two. Rebounded by Anastasia Beerley. Ball last touched by the Patriots, so it will stay Yellow Jackets possession here. Patriots getting a three lady sub in. Yellow Jackets trying to get the ball down into that low post. It's just been very tough all night. Nobody, that's MC Pike once again for the Patriots. That is her 10th point tonight. Yellow Jackets do indeed get it down to the low post. Unfortunately, get it tipped away, but they will retain possession. Timeout. Fairview. Looks like Fairview will be taking a timeout of the 30 second variety. One thing Fairview has executed very well tonight, I will say, is their out of bounds under the basket plays have gotten a lot of good looks in the paint out of here. So, sure, head coach Wayne McGowan is settling down the troops, trying to make sure they can get an easy bucket here. Q. Open shot. Fouled, though. That'll be sending number 42, Claire Cato, to the line. Foul on Jenna Gashwitz. That is her fourth foul of the game. Number 45, Abby Luffman checks in for the Yellow Jackets.
Kato unable to cash in on the free throws, but possession will stay here with Fairview. We'll see if we can get another open look under the bu bucket here. I think that was a unexpected defend by number 24, Jenna Gashwitz. Good save there by Fairby. Unfortunately, right to Cochran for an easy layup. <laughs> Drive to the lane by Gigi Harris. Unfortunately, able, unable to convert. Paige will bring the ball back up. A three by Lily Wilkin goes down. Cochran with the assist. Cochran goes for the steal. Harris able to spin out of it. 45 for the Yellow Jackets with the shot. Rebounded by Wilkins there. And Coach Brock takes a 30-second timeout. 30-second timeout. So with 2.15 left here in the game, we've got a score of 75 for the home page Patriots and 19 for the Fairview Yellow Jackets. After the conclusion of our girls game, we'll take a short break. It is senior night here at Page, so they will be recognizing all of the seniors on uh, the girls and boys team along with the cheerleaders. So we will take a break, let them get their recognition, and then be back in about 15 or 20 minutes to tip off the boys game, which is shaping up to be Quite the contest, both teams coming in with similar records in the district, their respective district. Cochran loses possession out of bounds there. It'll go back to Fairview. Number 12. For Paige, Cameron Fight checks in, gives the senior Gashwitz her standing ovation on senior night. Fairview able to get the ball down in the post. 42 with the rebound, back out to 45. Converts to Abby Luffman. That is her first bucket of the night. A foul will stop play. Number 40, that'll be Addie Sullivan for the Yellow Jackets. That is her first, Yellow Jackets first of the half. Number 15 checks in for Paige. And Lily Wilkin will check out, getting her senior night recognition. Forty on the Yellow Jackets gets called for the foul. Addy Sullivan. Thirty-two for the Patriots will check in. Chloe Kitchen as Cochran gets her senior night recognition. Rebounded by Fairview. Twenty seconds left here in the game. Blocked by number 32, Chloe Kitchen. Gigi Harris takes it back, though, and converts on the layup for two. And that will do it for the girls' action here on Friday night. 
the Page Patriots take the victory with a score of 75 to 23. Like I mentioned, we will be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, there is senior night tonight, so they will get their recognition, and then we will be back with the boys' tip-off. We will see you then.